in order to biomagnification so biomagnification means here biomagnification means refers to tendency of pollutants concentrate as they move from one tropic level to another and bioaccumulation means how pollutant enter the food chain by accumulate accumulation so bio biomagnification means how pollutant content to concentrate so uh, from one tropic level to another but here question is in order to biomagnification to occur the pollutant must be in order to biomagnification to occur the pollutant must be long lined mobile and soluble in fats and biological biologically active so it is correct is mainly all are correct so mainly in biomagnification long lived pollutant mainly long lived mobile and solute soluble in fact and biologically active so here uh, you can see so the pollutant is short lived it is broken down before it can become dangerous it is not possible it will stay one place or and in unlike to be taken by and by your taken up by organisms if the pollute uh, pollutant in soluble water it will be excreted by the organism pollutants that dissolved in fact may be retained for a long time it is tra traditional to measure the amount of pollutants in the fatty tissues of organisms such as fish in mammals we often taste the milk produced by fem females since the milk has a lot of fat and it has it and fat it and because very young are often more sus uh, susceptible to damage the toxic damage from toxins if a pollutant is not uh, active biologically it may may biomagnify but we really don't worry about it much since it probably won't cause any problems so next question in indian uh, standard meridian in india uh, the indian standard meridian passes through by madhya pradesh odisha uttar pradesh not karnataka so indian standard meridian passes through madhya pradesh odisha uttar pradesh so indian standard standard meridian means 82 degree 30 minute east meridian passes through up madhya pradesh chatisgarh odisha andhra pradesh please remember up madhya pradesh chatisgarh and odisha andhra pradesh last question consider the following statements so correct what is the correct so correct is the arable lies parallel to the southwest monsoon uh, arabian branch sea branch southwestern uh, okay it is correct arabian lie parallel to the southwest monsoon Ar arabian branch sea branch okay it is correct the state of goa receives more rainfall than aurangabad state of goa receives more rainfall than aurangabad so it is correct both are correct so in spite of the arable is many part of the rajasthan western bikani rajadpur okay pokhran do not receive much rainfall this is because arable lies parallel to the southwest monsoon uh, in this uh, arabian uh, monsoon arabian sea branch for this region the wind passes through the passes this region and no region is set uh, and there uh, there are no mountain ranges that is that they uh, that lie tra traversely across moreover the, the this region is also on the uh, leeward side leeward side so on the or and uh, in this in the rain shadow area region with the southwest monsoon of bay of bengal branch blows statement 2 is correct statement 2 is correct bay mumbai goa panaji bangalore kochi and trivandrum receive um, more rainfall then pune solapur nagpur amravati rangabad so because mumbai goa panaji bangalore and trivandrum lie on the western ward side of the western ghats and well uh, pune and rangabad amravati are lie uh, in the lee lie on the, the lee ward side of the in the rain shadow area region and hence when the southeast monsoon arabian sea branch blows uh, then uh, they received heavy rain since hence when the southwest monsoon arabian branch blows so branch blows there is a heaven so last question i think last question here consider the following statements correct is the mahabharata river marks the eastward or eastern most boundary boundary of the himalayas is mahabharata river marks the eastern most boundary of the himalaya that's correct and the eastern himalayas are wider in expense expense and and covered with dense forest western himalaya 
are wider in extension and covered with dense forest no no it's not correct so eastern himalaya this part is himalaya between lie between the tista river in the west and the brahmaputra river in the east so uh, distance 720 kilometers statements 2 is incorrect the it is correct so and state two statement two correct incorrect so incorrect the eastern himalaya is the narrower than the northeast northeast northern counterpart and however eastern the himalayas are covered with dense forest the northern uh, slopes of hills himalaya region high altitude and low temperature snow covered they does not allow vegetation okay so you can see all the things southern part hills uh, uh, plains valleys water Water the by river and fertile field soil, present temperature levels all required for dense growth of vegetation. So thank you.